Hello, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Q&A on The Cranker. Uh, my name is Mike Patterson. Of course, the ultimate cranker is Jesus Christ. And I uh, look forward to answering our first Bible question today. I am standing here in my kitchen. Uh, the lighting, I figured, was bright for my phone camera. And I'm also finishing some uh, barbecue chicken that smells good. I'm going to eat here in a little bit in the uh, crock pot there. So that's the easy way to cook if you're like me. Challenge when it comes to cooking. Amen. Let's get to the question. First Timothy chapter two, verse 15. And this question um, was asked on my Facebook by a sister and also uh, by a brother in my church. First Timothy chapter two, verse 15 it says, but women will be saved through childbearing if they continue in faith, love, holiness with propriety. So this admittedly can be a very challenging scripture because you ask, well, what about women that don't give birth to children? Will they be saved? And you know, it almost kind of takes a, a, some people, critics of the Bible have said it kind of gives a low view of women. And when you read the Bible, you just have to remember, it's like listening to one end of the phone conversation. Um, there's a certain situation that the writer of whatever letter you're reading in the Bible is addressing um, at the moment. So, of course, the Apostle Paul is writing to the evangelist Timothy about situations that are going on in Ephesus at the time. And uh, there's many views to this particular passage. I'm going to share the view that um, I believe is the most correct when you understand the history of what's going on. Gnosticism was a popular false teaching that crept into the early church. Now, it was not a denomination or another church. It was actually a mindset or a set of teaching that came into the church. Uh, Gnostics were very against anything material or physical. They tried to, they separated the body and the soul. They said everything in the material world is evil. Um, so things like uh, sex was viewed as evil um, with certain Gnostic groups. Now, Gnosticism was very broad, so there's different views on things. Um, women were, were highly uh, deified uh, many times. Um, and anything material was viewed as, as wrong, as evil, such as eating certain foods, um, uh, as I said earlier, um, sex, and of course, giving birth to children was looked down upon. Uh, for a woman to do, because um, if they gave birth to a child, they're bringing a physical entity into a physical material world that they viewed as evil. Now, Gnosticism as well um, was all about having deep spiritual knowledge or um, spiritual spirituality through experience and knowledge rather than faith. So one of the teachings was that it was wicked and sinful, if you will, to uh, bear a child because, once again, that focused on bringing someone into the material and physical world. And Paul is simply addressing this false doctrine by saying, no, you, women will be saved who give birth to children, just as anyone else is saved, as long as they keep faith and holiness. And so, again, he's answering um, the challenge that Gnosticism has. He's addressing a specific situation. I would encourage you to research this on your own. Um, it's not the time, I'm not going to go into a detailed thing on, on Gnosticism, but um, if you look, even if you turn to 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1, he says, the Spirit clearly says that in later times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Such things, uh, I'm sorry, such teachings come through hypocritical liars whose consciences have been seared as with a hot iron. They forbid people to marry and order them to abstain from certain foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For everything God created is good, and nothing is to be rejected. It is to be received with thanksgiving because it was consecrated by the word of God and prayer. So again, in the same book, he's addressing the same thing. These Gnostics thought material things were wrong and were bad, and so they encouraged abstain from marriage abstain from any sexual intimacy. They encourage, don't eat certain foods. And, and Paul's going, listen, everything that's created in this world is, is good. God made it for us. Now, of course, things can be used in sin sinful ways. But again, he's, he's addressing the Gnosticism. A lot of times in Timothy, it talks about the Jewish myths and genealogies and different things that, that had come to on. So when he talks about being saved through childbearing, women being saved through childbearing, again, He's making the point that women who have given birth to children can be saved, which was opposite of what the Gnostics taught, that they couldn't because they had sinned, in a sense, by bringing in a child into this material world. So 
Hope that makes sense. Again, there are other views on this scripture. Some people have said that, oh, they're saved because Mary gave birth to Jesus. So in that sense, you're saved through uh, a woman, Mary, giving birth to Christ. Um, other people have rooted it back to um, Eve and different things. So there's different views out there. To me, that's the one that makes the most sense of admittedly a difficult scripture. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, um, I'm always open uh, to looking at that. And thanks for watching the first Q&A on the Cranker. Have a great uh, evening.